what is up you guys i know i look ridiculous right now and i'm sorry that this room is so echoey but um this is my new bedroom <laughs> um so i'm wearing this old top that i used to wear when i dyed my hair so it's like completely gross and stained and just shorts and then some trainers um so today i'm actually just sanding the walls so i that's why i look like this because it's going to be very dusty i think and it's so hot England's having a heat wave this literally over 30 degrees that doesn't happen here i'm pretty sure in like london it's reaching like 38 which is like literally unheard of like i've never experienced anything above 30 in this country in my life like it's so ridiculous um yeah so i'm just gonna start sanding today trying to get all this paint off the walls um i have sandpaper and my sister gave me this lovely device oh that's such a good thumbnail so let's see if i set fire to the house or break something so i have my gloves on i probably should be wearing goggles but my sister said it doesn't really make much of a difference so i'm actually so terrified just to turn it on i think it's gonna be so loud I'm going to read the instructions. <laughs> hey guys, so I just wanted to update you on my bedroom. So I literally haven't filmed anything in like a week. It's been really bad, but um, I have been doing stuff. It's just been impossible to film. So I'm pretty sure the last clip you saw was me trying to turn on the sander or maybe sanding. I'm not sure. Um, but basically I finished sanding all the walls. So I'll show you guys that in a second. It doesn't really look good but it's a lot better <laughs> um but literally filming sanding was next to impossible doing the actual sanding was next to impossible so i didn't think i was ever gonna be able to film it which i didn't um basically the dust went everywhere like i thought it was gonna go far but <laughs> everywhere I had to wear a mask it was like ridiculous and it was so hot when i was doing it i had the mask on and like the mask wasn't perfect so a little bits of dust were getting in every time i took the mask off all my face was covered in like flecks of paint but like really really fine and i was sweating because it was really hot and it was mixing with the flecks of paint and it was literally the most disgusting thing i've ever done in my life and it was so loud and like i couldn't even have music on it took me so long it was tiring i'm pretty sure i got sick halfway through doing it because it was just so draining but there are bigger problems in the world than me sanding my bedroom so i'm just going to show you um so basically it looks like this which looks literally like i've done nothing but all of these patches so like the wall was painted white and then obviously the paint was thrown on it but underneath the white was blue and underneath the blue was purple so on like points like this i've got through two layers of paint so like you can see here this really big purple thing on bits like that trying to sand it where i was holding it on there for so long trying to get rid of the chunk it would like sand down the bits next to it so where you see these really big patches is where there was huge splats of paint but obviously you guys can't feel it but if you could it feels really flat it doesn't feel bumpy but i guess like there is bits of paint still there like stained but it's like thin enough that I think once it's all one colour you could get away with it. The next big problem that we had was when we took down the wall, you can see there, that's the colour that was under the wall, like a really, really, really dark blue. Oh, my breath is so hot in here. So um, the bits that were dark blue was where all the fixings for the wall were, and so when we took those out, obviously there were huge holes so i've had to spend a couple days filling these holes so i tried to use this type of filler with like <laughs> you just got like a bit on the end with like a gun attachment so you like squeeze it into the holes and then obviously i had like a scraper but the gun sort of like it was so hard to squeeze out the tube that the bit that was pushing up through the tube twisted and so all the filler started coming out the bottom of the tube and like it just really wasn't working so my mum got me this tub of filler that's like all-purpose filler that's like heavy duty kind of um so instead of squeezing it to the hole you like scoop it out and put it in so i did a first round with the tube and then 
on the really, really big holes, it either sunk in as it dried or it couldn't cover it. So then I used that extra filler. I'm all done with that. And basically ready, I've washed all the wool, sugar soaked them, washed them down with water. Basically ready to start painting, but I might start that tomorrow because it's getting kind of late and it's very, very hot. <laughs> so tomorrow you'll get some fun time lapses of me painting. <laughs> hey guys, just giving you another update. So it's the next day and I've decided to, because obviously the walls that were, that had paint on that had to sand, um, is gonna take more coats than the other half of the room because the other half was already white. So I've decided to paint just the half of the paint splats once or maybe twice before doing the whole room. So today I just did the one half of the room with the paint splats um, and now I'm done for today because I have to let that dry before I can obviously go over it again. So this is just what it looks like. And it's raining, which is really sad. So I've also painted over the colored bits of the ceiling just with a paintbrush before I do the whole thing. So this is the white wall, obviously. That's where the wall that was put up was, covering over a dark blue bit of paint. So that's obviously still quite dark. And then that's the paint spot wall. So we're getting there, we're getting there. It's obviously still patchy, but it's a lot better than it was. Hey guys, so it's day two of painting. I literally feel so gross. I have to wear the same t-shirt every single day, but it's the only t-shirt that I have that like is covered in paint and stuff. Also, I'm fairly sure I have mascara under my eyes from like two days ago because I just keep not doing any skincare, which is awful and that's why I have all these pimples. So, so same thing as yesterday, I'm doing just half the room. Um, but this is one of the walls I've done. You can't really, really see, which is pretty good, I guess, because it's getting closer to being pure white. It's not as covered as I thought it would be, to be honest. Like, I'll try and show you. There's still like such a dark blue patch where the wall was, and then like there's still quite a difference between the white side and the spotty side. But I have only done two coats, so I don't really know what I was expecting. Also, a quick tip, if you are painting, decorating, doing anything inside this summer, listen to Chance the Rapper's new album. It's so, like, upbeat and it, like, really motivates me. Um, my favourite songs are Hot Shower and the one with Shawn Mendes, I think it's Ballin' Flossin'. They are two fire songs, so listen to this. Can't play them because copyright, but yeah. so I'm being quiet. I like Alicia, she's a good one. I like this colour. Um, and then there's another one that I also like, so I need to decide between those and buying offcuts because they're cheaper. Good tip, and Ollie's come to help me shop for carpet. <laughs> we bought a carpet. Um, when I ordered my carpet yesterday, they said we had to take up all the remaining floor before they come and put it in. They're not putting it in for like a week and a half, but I just wanted to do it now anyway, so. I have no floor anymore, just floorboards. Kind of disgusting, kind of scared that spiders are gonna come up through them, but it's fine, because we're having a nice carpet and it'll be fine. <laughs> but I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, yeah, this is what my room looks like. <laughs> Hey guys, so I took the floor up two days ago. This is my last painting update. I'm so happy, except for from the corner to that line. There, that line is the only bit that I haven't painted. Everything else is done. I did the ceiling. I'm so happy. <laughs> so nearly finished. Um, so just film this last bit and then all the walls and the ceiling will be done. So I have to do the gloss paint on the skirting, but that won't take nearly as long or as many coats. Oh 
Alright you guys, it's finally here. I've finished my bedroom. It's not entirely finished, there's still a few things I might change and add and get rid of and stuff, but for right now, it's finished, it's a bedroom and I'm so happy with it. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick overview, do some artsy panning shots, and then I'm gonna tell you guys where some of the stuff's from. And yeah, hope you enjoy. Okay, so I'll show you guys where everything's from. The carpet is from Carpet Barn. Um, clothes rail is from IKEA. Couldn't tell you where all the clothes are, that would take way too long. Um, not sure where this chest of drawers is from. It was my brother's from like 10 years ago. I don't know, I just repainted it. That I bought at the dump. <laughs> um, my best friend Selby made these. This, these little fake plants are from IKEA. The I don't know, the fairy lights are from Poundland and this is a rum bottle. This is from Ikea, the lamp, this Ollie got me on holiday. The mirror is from Asda. The little decorations. I don't know where this is from because my mum got it for me, but it says dream big, shine bright, laugh lots. This is from New Look, it's just an empty perfume bottle and this is an empty YSL perfume bottle. My bed is from m and I think, it was my Nana's, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Uh, bedding is all from Asda. I'm gonna get new bedding though because it's very old. Oh, it's very crinkly as well. It's very old, so I'm gonna get some new bedding, but it's just there for now. This is from Thought Park. Ollie won it for me on one of those like ball cross games. My baby live leg is from IKEA. Um, Ollie's parents, well, his whole family made me this picture thing for when I went to uni. Jewelry box is from. A little boutique in Cornwall, that's from Amazon, plant is Ikea, plant is Asda, books are from The Works, and table is from Ikea. I'm not sure where this desk is from, it's very old. <laughs> um, I just have a few little decorations down here, so this is just basically all tea lights. They go in the wax burner that's back there, and that's all the wax that goes in the top. These candles are from Primark, oh, the wax burner is from Yankee Candle, baskets from TK Maxx, this little guy was a present. She is just like a pop vinyl, and then that was from Ollie's mum. This makeup organizer is from IKEA. Um, I think it's meant for like paper and documents and pens and stuff, but it's really good for stacking palettes in the back and big bottles and stuff. I also have lashes, lash glue, foil, illuminator, and another setting spray. <laughs> this mirror is from Aldi was it? Um, this makeup storage is from Amazon, just like the clear acrylic drawers. White marble thing is from John Lewis um, that my brushes are in. Um, and then this is my my baby Christy. She is a peace lily from Ikea and then the plant pot, I don't know where it came from but it was my mum's and she wasn't using it so I stole that but she is beautiful. I love Christy, hence why I have my watering can over there is for Christy. And then finally this thing is from Ikea. So you have you buy the unit as a whole. I actually bought two four ones and stacked them because I just didn't want to be limited to having a tall one. <laughs> um, and then, so you buy the unit and then you buy these inserts separately. So I have two drawers, two doors, two baskets and two empty. Then I'm keeping all my shoes in these two drawers under my bed. I don't know what this circular stain is. It's kind of freaking me out, but whatever. So all my shoes are in here. Oh, finally in here. These fairy lights are from Primark, by the way, if anybody wondered. 
Um, but in here we have this hanging thing from Ikea. And this is from Ollie's family, so I'm not really sure where it's from. And then I have my tripod from Amazon and my camera is behind that. And that is a Canon. So yeah, that's everything. I'm gonna put some sheer curtains over this bit so that it, like obviously you'll still see some of the color coming through, but it'll be a lot more like muted. Um, I have the curtains, but I don't have the wire thing that needs to go across the top of there because I accidentally ordered it to my university campus which is great because I'm not going to be the back there for another year so I have to get a new one of those. <laughs> my lampshade, my beautiful beautiful lampshade, I love her, she's so pretty, um, she's from Ikea um, but the hole in the top of it was too big, whoa I look really tan, this is why I wanted to paint my whole room white so that I look really tan. <laughs> Um, the hole at the top there was way too big so I had to get an adapter. Just beware, if you buy this from Ikea, you might need an adapter. That is everything in my new beautiful room and I even have perfect space to practice my handstands. <laughs>